What's up everyone? So I want to bring you a video today about how to install your MY120 motor to a Kelly controller. Uh, some people buy the kits from Electro and Company or Lone Star Electric. Those perfectly fine kits, great kits, great reviews. Uh, some of us just want to buy our parts separately and put it together ourselves. Uh, so let's get after it. All right guys. So when you get your, your motor out of the box, your Viver or your uh, Kunrai, it's gonna have a connection that looks like this. Get that in focus. All right, cut it off. They don't need it if you're going with a Kelly controller, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut that off and you're gonna install the Kelly connection on the motor side, okay? So your, your main wires, your green, your uh, green, blue, and yellow are gonna go directly to the controller along with your power and ground. Then you're gonna have these wires left over. You're gonna cut that connector off and you're gonna install the Kelly side of the connection. It's gonna mate into the controller, all right? So from the motor, your black is gonna to go to black on the controller side, that's black number 21. Your red from the motor is gonna to go to the purple on the controller side, all right? And that is gonna be number five. Number five, these pins are, these pins on the Kelly have a, have a collar on them that have a number, make it easy for you. The blue from the motor, blue from the motor is gonna to go to yellow on the controller side. And it's gonna be yellow 18, okay? So the yellow from the motor now, don't get confused with the colors, the yellow from the motor is gonna to go to green on the Kelly, that's green 17, okay? And then green from the motor, green from the motor is gonna to go to blue on the controller side, that's blue number 16. And then you have to do a similar thing with the throttle cable. So this is just a throttle cable from Amazon. Uh, it's got the voltmeter attached to it. I know my wiring looks like uh, it's all jumbled up right now, but it'll be all, it'll be all right. Um, you install these little connectors, the little rubber first, rubber like this, and then your controller's gonna come with these little pins. You're gonna put, cut your wire off and install the pin on there, on the inside of here. So snip it, put your wire in there, and then crimp down on the wire, or on the, on the connector to keep it tight. All right guys, so from the throttle, throttle with the bolt meter, the Amazon special, $17. You're gonna send your throttle is gonna be yellow, is gonna go to power. So whatever positive you got, send that there. Your green from the throttle is going to go to green three on the Kelly. Blue from the throttle is gonna to go to pink number seven on the Kelly. Red from the throttle is gonna to go to lavender number four on the Kelly. And black is gonna to go to black number 20 on the, on the Kelly. Now on this throttle, the blue is gonna have its own connection. It's gonna be separate from the green, uh, black and red. So keep that in mind. So you're gonna utilize all three controller or all three connections on the controller when hooking up the motor and the throttle, all right? So once we get these connections made, we put our ends on our wires and these little seals come in and they seal that up so no moisture and then like that gets in there. With the Kelly controller and this throttle, we're gonna use all three of the connectors. Uh, and then once you guys get the pins where you want them, Kelly's gonna send you a box of these white ends and it's gonna have this yellow uh, insert. So once you get your pins in place, it snaps in and the yellow insert goes in and secures it from this side. And those of you who are wondering what this is, this is just a little extra. Uh, this is a down converter. So it's gonna take the power that this battery puts out at 48 volts. It's gonna make it a usable power of 12 volts. Uh, so I can run switches, which I can do my lights in the front. I can run a power, I can run a light in the back. Um, I can run LEDs. You could put a charger for your phone in here. Uh, whatever you want to run 12, 12, 12 volts off of, that's what you can use this uh, down converter for. And these are on Amazon for about 25 bucks. Uh, totally worth it. 
I'll put it, I'll put a link in the description uh, of this video too, in case you want to pick one up. All right, guys. Well, I hope that video helps you out. Uh, I've wired up about, I don't know, four or five Kelly controllers at this point. The first time I did this, I cut the connections off of the Kelly controller and wired them directly to the motor and the throttle via a solder joint. I won't do that again. Uh, I like the idea of having my controller, my motor and throttle being modular so I can take it off, uh, take it out of the bike, put it in a different bike and it just clips right in. Um, that's just me. Some people probably still do this outer thing, but uh, I really like the clip feature that Kelly offers. The clips are kind of big and clunky, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to show you, obviously you can see now it's uh, kind of getting late in the night, but I just wanted to show you real quick uh, the throttle, the tire moving, just to show you that it, the way I hooked it up, everything works. All right, guys, here's the bike. The cases are on kind of temporarily right now. They're not on all the way. Uh, come up here, showing 53 volts on the voltmeter. I'll load the tire. Here we go. Boom shakalaka. All right, guys. So that's the end of this video. I hope you found the content useful on how to connect your Beaver or your Kunray motor to a Kelly controller. If you thought anything in this video was useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to keep on making this, this type of content for y'all. Uh, if you have any questions, put it in the comments. I answer all the comments. Until next time, happy building.